Are you an AI developer or data scientist looking for a new solution for desk side workflows? Want to save up to 12x the cost over cloud based compute? Well, stick around for my review of the Dell Pro Max GB10 with Grace Blackwell Architecture. Hi, I'm Mike Lohanan, Client Technology Specialist from Dell. Uh, I do work for Dell, however, this is my own YouTube channel. So what I say in here is my opinion, my own thoughts. If I say something wrong, that is on me. Uh, this is an AI purpose built for work, AI workloads, right? It's for rapid prototyping, AI workload builds. It's secure, it's low latency, and it's efficient for a local AI sandbox. I like to say this isn't a, a personal computer or PC. This is more of a PDC, personal data center, right? And we go through this, you'll see how much power there is. So let's dive into the Dell Pro Max with GB10. Okay, let's look underneath the hood. At the heart of this machine is the Blackwell GPU. Uh, this is 140 watts. It can do one petaflop of FP4 compute. Freaking amazing, and up to 200 billion parameters uh, that it can handle. Uh, from the CPU side, it's the great NVIDIA Grace CPU, and that has 20 high performance cores in it. This is an ARM core uh, processor uh, built into the system. Uh, from a memory perspective, it has 128 um, of LP uh, DDR5 uh, unified memory system, saying unified, meaning it can talk to the CPU and the GPU, and that does that through um, not only um, you know connecting the memory, but also connecting the CPU and the GPU through the uh, NVIDIA NVLink uh, C2C. A really low latency performance allows everything to talk uh, directly to each other. Uh, from a hard drive perspective, you can go up to uh, four uh, terabytes, you can get two terabytes or four terabytes of uh, PCI Gen 4 uh, SSD. Um, it does have Wi-Fi, uh, also has Bluetooth 5.1. Um, this is scalable. You know, all the specs I just talked about. Um, you have a uh, Connect X7 or a CX7 uh, connection ports on here. When I go through the ports, I'll show you that. Um, allows you to connect two of these devices together. And when you do that, you get 256 gigs of memory and you can go up to 400 billion parameters on here. I mean, that's a ma massive, right? That is Llama 4 Maverick level of, of compute. You know, with all that compute, right, you might start getting some wild thoughts about what this can be and what it isn't. You know, it is not a traditional PC, right? It is not running Windows uh, it is not for gaming. It's not even for ISV uh, workflows. Think of this thing as a utility for data scientists and AI development and your uh, rapid prototyping of, of uh, workflows, right? Um, like I said, it's not Windows. It is actually uh, NVIDIA D, uh, DGX OS, which is a uh, tuned version of Ubuntu Linux um, preloaded into the system. It's also preloaded with the NVIDIA AI stack. So you're going to get things like the CUDA, CUDA X, and RTX tools and libraries. You're going to get uh, the uh, DGX OS software systems load, like the kernel and the GPU drivers and uh, you know Docker pre-configs, uh, things like that. So that is going to be preloaded. There's also a whole bunch of other tools uh, that are available for you uh, for download from NVIDIA on there. Right. This is really to make it easy so you can move your models uh, between your desktop and large data center environments. Okay, let's take a look at the ports. I'm actually looking at the back of the of the GB10. Uh, the front, there's really nothing on there other than there's a light indicator. If you look really closely, um, you can see there's a, a light indicator in the front, but in the back is where all the ports are. Uh, we're gonna start from left to right. The first one is your power on button. Uh, the next one is your USB-C power in. So uh, the system comes with actually a 240 watt um, AC adapter uh, that plugs into there to give it its its power. Uh, the next three ports uh, right there um, are going to be uh, USB-C uh, Gen 2 ports with display alt mode. 
Uh, what is display alt mode? That basically means we've got a channel in there for being able to do uh, monitors on there. So you can hook up displays uh, through those uh, USB-C ports. Uh, the next one is, um, obviously it's an HDMI port. It is a uh, 2.1B port. Uh, the next over is the RJ45 uh, network port. You know, normally I'd get really excited over the next thing I'm about to say. It is a, a 10 gigabit um, uh, network uh, connection on there. Usually that's, uh, you get pretty excited if you see that on a, on a desktop, but you know what? What's next to it is is even more impressive. These are the, uh, what they call CX7 or Connect X7 uh, smart NICs uh, from, from NVIDIA. These do up to 200 gigabits um, of connection. Uh, it's called a QSFP uh, port. Why? Well, remember earlier I talked about uh, being able to daisy chain two of these GB10s together to be able to give you up to that 400 billion parameter modeling uh, on it. That's how you do it through that um, uh, CX7 port on there. So extremely uh, impressive port. And this is actually what the the cable looks like here. Let me show you that. Um, it's got covers on it, uh, but this is this is really impressive. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a data center guy. I'm a, I'm a client guy. Um, data center people have seen this for a while. I haven't. This is new to me, and this is really really impressive. So that is a look at the ports. All right, let's get down to the really hot topic about this. A lot of power built into this box. Uh, very very exciting that something this small can produce so much. Um, but why? Why do it, right? Why do I need to buy the, the GB10? Um, let's be frank, it, it gets down to the money, right? Um, I talked about earlier that this can save you up to 12x the cost of AI cloud compute. And I'm not saying that this is going to be everything for your end-to-end -end AI development, right? This is a supplement, but this absolutely reduces costs. And I'm going to put up here um, on the screen, what my assumptions are to say we get up to 12x the savings um, over over um, uh, going to the cloud for AI development. Um, hey, say I'm wrong. Maybe I'm 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 half wrong on this, and I'm only 6x. Well, there you go. Right? Even if I'm half wrong on that, um, we're still saving a significant amount of money. And on top of that, everything stays secure on prem. And it's fully under your control. So this makes a really smart uh, solution. Uh, particularly, you know, I've talked to a lot of universities about this already, and um, you know, some of my other customers that talk about, hey, when I go out to set my budgets, um, it's easy for me to say, hey, I need X amount of dollars to to be, buy a piece of hardware, right? Um, you know, you know, a capital type of expenditure. It's really difficult when my budget is, um, you know, kind of in that service where I'm not sure what it's going to cost me as I go through the development. This, you know what your price is, right? It's a fixed one-time uh, fee and you can do all your development work. It makes it a lot easier for a lot of folks just to, just to buy this. If you're ready to supercharge your local AI workflows and reclaim control and performance from the cloud, the Dell Pro Max deserves a place on your desk. It's compact, powerful, and secure. And most critically, it can save you a significant amount of money based, uh, compared to cloud-based compute. What would you build if compute wasn't the bottleneck? Drop your thoughts in the comments, subscribe, like, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Again, this is Mike Lohanian, Client Technology Specialist from Dell.